Hey, welcome to Space Arena, the Ultimate Python Turtle Graphics Game Tutorial, Part 2. This is where we're going to create our sprite class and our player object. So we'll get started with that. Okay, real quick, a sprite is just any type of game object that you see on the screen. So the player is a sprite, the enemy is a sprite, the uh, power-ups are sprites. Even the, I think the... Uh, Probably the stars in the background might even be considered sprites. I can't remember how I programmed it, but once we get there, we'll know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a sprite class. Okay, now if you've never done classes before, probably this isn't the place to start. But just a quick review. To create a class, I say class, and I give it a name. Notice it's capitalized. And right now I'm going to make that empty. So. Now, a sprite is a game object, okay? So what I have to do is I have to talk about or I have to think about what this object has, what properties does it have, and what can it do? I'm just gonna make a very basic sprite class to which we can add later. But one thing that a, a class needs is something called a constructor. Now, in Python, this is the init method, and See, well, I'll, just, I'll leave it like this for you. So init method, and I'm gonna put pass there for now. Pass is just an empty, leaves a, a blank space for you. Uh, something to think about here. I've got a class, and now I've got something called a constructor. Let me go ahead and put that in there for you. So the constructor is a special method that is called when we create an object. And I'm gonna show you that in a little bit. So thinking about our sprites, thinking about our game object, they're going to have an X coordinate, they're going to have a Y coordinate, they're going to have a shape, and they're going to have a color. For now, we're, we're, we'll update all these things later. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say self.x equals x, self.y equals y, self.shape equals shape, oops, and self.color equals color. So what I'm saying and again, if you haven't done this before, this is going to be confusing, is that when I create my sprite, I have to say this, I have to give the sprite some attributes. I'm going to give it an X coordinate. I'm going to give it a Y coordinate. I'm going to give it a shape. I'm going to give it a color. And self is how we do that. And I'm going to show you that in a second. So what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and create, well, let me tell you what, let's do this. We're also going to need a couple other methods for this particular sprite, and I'm going to use, call one called render. And I'm going to put self, and I'm going to put pen, because I'm going to be using this pen here to draw it. So watch what I do here. I'm going to say pen.go to self.x, self.y. Say pen.shape, self.shape. Pen.color self.color. Now render is what I'm going to use to actually draw the shape. Okay. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and create my player sprite. So watch what I do here. Say player, so I've given it a name. This could be player one if you have a multiplayer game, it could be player two, player three, whatever. Player equals sprite now, what I'm going to put here is this information. So I'm going to go ahead and make my sprite at 0, comma 0, right in the center of the screen. I'm going to give the shape as square. Now, in this case, the shape is the possible shapes for the turtle object, which are square, circle, turtle, triangle, and uh, arrow. Okay. Now, later, when we add images, it'll actually be the image name. So like, you know, player.gif or something like that. Actually, the player, we're going to keep the triangle. And let's make the player, I'm just going to use white for my spaceship. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and run this. And you're going to be underwhelmed. Okay, so good news is no error. Bad news is nothing's on the screen. Okay, so I've created the player. And then I need to render it. Player.render. And I need to say, I need to send the pen to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and run that again. And we still don't see it, which is bad. <laughs> what did I do wrong? Uh, 
not shape. So ah, that's it. And pen dot stamp. Stamp actually puts it onto the screen for you. So function f5. And there is my player. I don't like that square. Actually, I'm gonna leave it like that. Um, so I'm gonna actually make turn that into a triangle because the player is a spaceship. Okay, and there we have our spaceship object. Okay, and our player or our player object, I should say. Now a couple things to think about here. Now at this point, I could start doing things like this. I could do enemy equals sprite, put that at zero, 100, uh, and I make that a square, and we'll make the enemy a red square, and then we'll say enemy dot render pen, and then we'll go ahead and do it. We do ahead do a power up at this point, sprite, uh, say zero comma negative 100, and we'll make that a circle. And we'll go ahead and make that blue. Okay. So, oops, I got, don't, can't forget to render it. So, power up dot render and pen. So, I'm gonna go ahead and run that. Okay, so we've got our player, we've got an enemy, and we've got a power up already on the screen. So, again, let me explain how classes work, just for those of you who haven't done this before. So we're going to be using this extensively throughout this particular program and it's going to make trust me it makes your life a lot easier so what happens is when i create an object i got to give it a name so in this case i called it player here i called it enemy here i called it power up i said that the player is a member of the sprite class okay so this player is a sprite the enemy is a sprite and the power up is also a sprite okay so they are game objects in our game so these are the things that these particular objects have in common. They all have an X coordinate, they all have a Y coordinate, they all have a shape, they all have a color. We also need to render each of these objects okay, using the pen that we created up here. So the pen goes to the location of that particular object. That's what self means. So when I'm talking about player.render, self becomes player. So player goes to here pen goes to here. That's why it's a little confusing the, the way this is structured. And then so self, so player, 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 player. Okay, so player.x, player.x. Player.shape, player.color. In the case of enemy, of course, it would be different. Self would be enemy, enemy.x, enemy.y, enemy.shape, enemy.color. Okay. So that's how this whole self thing works. Now when I create the object the first time, that's what this does. Again, remember, we want to capitalize these as a convention. These are two underscores before and after. Don't forget self. So I'm saying at zero, x is going to be zero. Y is going to be zero. I'm going to draw a triangle and a white triangle. And then I'm going to render it using the render method that I created here. Okay, so let me run that one more time. And we'll leave it like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that. Let's stop there. In the next video, I'll show you how to actually move the, the player around and do some kind of cool stuff with that. Okay, so thanks for watching. Stay tuned.